Good afternoon, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, this is a Friday night special. We've got a case of the peep uh, my peephole is too small. It's a rear axle be uh, bearing cap uh, lock bolt access uh, hole that needs to be drilled out. And that's on this rear, one of these rear axles, a couple of specially made ones for a client, uh, not by me but by others. And uh, this hole is, is where they, they get the socket through to bolt up the, fl the, the flange plate that fits over here and, and bolts it to the rear diff. Um, but unfortunately they can't get the, um, the socket through here, so they've asked me to make uh, bigger holes in it. So the method I've decided to use is to set up um, the axle on, um, on the mill and I've used my pipe vise or, or tube vise or, or bar vise, whatever you like to call it. I've set it up on an angle plate, bolted down and on the edge as, um, as close as I can to, um, to the carriageway here. And, um, and I've, uh, so that's all set up. I've offset, I've off offset the, uh, the ram. Uh, so it's been uh, offset by about 25 degrees and uh, I've also um, rolled it forward and brought it forward to um, to give me enough space here to work. So everything's locked up, it's all set uh, to zero, um, the, uh, the Z doesn't matter um, and what I've done is I've locked it up and I'll just put the Noga down um, on the, well, down here on and lock it up what I've, what I've done is I've taken, this. the hole is about 25.2 mil, so I've taken a 25 mil rotor brooch and fitted it in, fitted it in the, um, in the quill and brought it down and that is giving me, I'm spot on now of that hole. So nothing scientific, just um, lining it all up. And then what I'm going to do, to be, I need to drill this out to about 27 or 28 mil. So I'm going to use the 28, 20, I don't have a 27, uh, so I'm going to use the 28 mil, 28 mil rotor brooch. And um, I'm going to drill out that hole with the rotor brooch. Um, as I've said in the past, I've, um, I've really, really... Uh, Love these rotor brooches, they, um, they work very well and hopefully this one won't upset us. It doesn't need a centre point because we've already got it and hopefully we won't get any oil or anything on the lens. Um, and we'll fire up the machine. Maybe we'll get a bit of light on the subject as well. I don't know whether that's going to be good or bad, but we'll see. Does that look better? Uh, it's much of a muchness, I suppose. Um, okay, so now we'll set her up on, uh, on low speed, we'll run at a couple of hundred RPM I think. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll peck her down, plenty of my black, um, black goo, can we see that alright? And we'll start to make that hole bigger, this is not cast iron this one, this is steel of some sort and hopefully and it doesn't like that we we'll cut back the speed a bit quite tough Hopefully it'll be alright. Otherwise we'll have to go to plan B. Um, and put the boring head up. I think we're going to be okay with that. Not 100% happy. But it is doing the job. So 
I'm hoping to save a lot of time by doing it this way. You never know what the critical speed for this sort of work is. I'll cut that back to 180. And hopefully I won't bottom out on this uh, bolt here. Sometimes you've got to be a bit more aggressive. They don't like spinning around not working. I could do the same with an end mill if I had one that size. It's six or one half a dozen the other I suppose you'd say. Okay, so I think we've got some success here. That seems to be um, working quite well. Let's we'll see if I can get in a bit closer there. Might take a second for it to uh, focus up, hopefully. Let's turn that off. No, it doesn't seem to want to focus. What we'll do is pan her out and bring the camera closer. Because this is not the GoPro, this is a different one. So we can see there that we, we're having success. It looks like it's going to be a good job. So. Uh, well, uh, we've, we've got a call in for dinner, so we'll carry on with this tomorrow morning. I'm, at least I'm happy I've got the, the setup all go, ready to go. <coughs> and the case of my peephole being too small will be negated. Thank you very much. Have a good one. And a happy new year to all those that I haven't said already.